Hey, yeah, time for another review. Um, I've got a little project going on at home that uh, I need an extra saw for. Uh, tried doing it by hand and uh, fuck, because I'm a bit lazy. I thought it's got to be an electric tool, so we thought we'd give this one a go. The Abea, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, ERS 1100 reciprocating reciprocal saw, uh, which is this one here. Um, comes in a nice case, like most of their stuff. All coming together. That's a unit, so far feels pretty solid, sturdy. All we had to do is put this handle on, it just uh, screws on, and then you can release that and turn it around if you need to. Changing the blade is just put a nut the lever out and it pops in and out. Uh, you can cut at an angle, that's gotta be pushed against whatever you're cutting all the time. Uh, there's a little lever here as well that has something to do with cutting angles, I'm not quite sure what yet. Um, comes with two wood blades. Uh, these will go up to 302 millimeters, um, which I'm cutting a, a sleeper, which is about uh, 120 millimeters. So we'll see how it gets on with that. They do also give you one for metal cutting as well. Uh, for some reason, metal you can't cut nearly as uh, as wide. It's 152 that one. Um, I don't know if that's just because it's harder work or something. Because um, I'm not an expert on these things, I'm just Mr. DIYer. Uh, let's go and see how we get on with this thing. So, this is the project. Uh, this was decking, this was all grass. Uh, we've had a mini digger cutting all this out. Uh, the idea is we're uh, going to put an above ground pool in. So, we've taken the decking off. This was already concreted. That's got to be concreted. Not quite sure how that's going to go on to uh, how well that's going to go on to the clay, but that's uh, a whole different problem and a different project that I may or may not let you know about in the future uh, depending on how it goes or whether we uh, whether we sink um, but what I'm stuck on is we had sleepers all the way along here holding the earth back most of them I found a bolt for no problem at all and we got the bolt out and that was the end of it this one I think probably is still fixed under here but I don't want to have to take all this off so we decided we'd try and give it a saw I had a circular saw which has gone through quite well but only gone to there and obviously not nearly thick enough to cut the whole thing so i've got the top cut got that bit cut um and around here a little bit but then i've kind of got stuck and it was all going off at a strange angle so i'm hoping this is going to do the job now i haven't even started i haven't tried it so this is either going to work not work make me look stupid or be the best thing i've ever bought um let's find out is it going to fit in that side Possibly not. Let's go from the other side. There we go. I'm going to have to clear some of this earth away. I'll be back in two sets. Right, that's that done. Let's uh, give it another try. There we go. So that's, I think, the top of where I'd got to. <laughs> the job brilliantly better than I thought it would um, obviously this is quite tough wood being a sleeper it is a good few years old uh, but even so it's pretty solid the circular saw probably a little bit blunt at the moment but didn't enjoy going through it at all this has just gone it through it uh, like better appreciate it's a brand new blade a brand new piece of kit but uh, I reckon that was well worth the money I paid it's one of the um, cheapest ones I could find um, with this sort of power there are some less powerful ones but uh, I fancied uh, just going for a bit more power because that's what us men are like. Uh, really impressed with it so far. I'm not paid from them. I did go and buy this myself from one of the uh, DIY outlets um, and it's done the job well. One thing, very, very dangerous that I really need to point out before I go. I have already had an injury from it just here. And that, do you know what that's from? It's from opening the box. 
ran a nail down to, uh, to cut the sticky bits on the side, caught that on the cardboard and I've cut myself. So um, I don't know, I'm gonna decide whether to take them to court or not. Maybe, because I'm so impressed with it, I might let them off. We'll see you again, cheers. Before we go, it did occur to me that uh, because I part started that one, maybe it looked a bit misleading that I'd cut through and you're thinking, ah yeah, but you'd already cut through half of that with a circular saw. So just to prove a point, a whole bit of sleeper here. Um, I did cut that end off actually, but the video played up. So we're gonna do a, a fresh one in here just to show that it will cut all the way through there um, just as easily starting afresh. So here goes. Tell you what, we'll even try this little bit of metal, this old uh, screw that's going through there. Let's try the metal blade on that back right. into. Got my metal blade, just pull that lever, take that one out. Um, worth pointing out, when I was looking for these, this this was a good price for one that will go, let's say, I think that's the longest blade you can get, 302 millimeter. A lot of the ones at this sort of price range were only uh, about 100 mil, which wouldn't have been enough to even cut it that way. Uh, whereas this one, uh, I have even started cutting to try and cut this one out until I found the uh, the bolt that was going through it, which actually uh, knackered my first blade. Um, was cutting it completely lengthways, um, which a lot of these things uh, with a limited cut wouldn't uh, wouldn't even get halfway. Um, it's usually quite clear when you're looking to order them up uh, how long the cut length, what's the, the, the maximum they can do. So uh, that's one of my recommendations, is to uh, keep an eye out for that. Right, so we've got this screw poking out here, very typical. Uh, maybe you're replacing a, a fence panel or something and you're trying to just cut those outstanding screws off so you can take the panel away. Um, let's see how we get on with that. See you in the next